what is up everybody Eric here um, bringing you another video today we're gonna be doing an oil change and a fuel induction service on my 2012 Hyundai Azera this is gonna be the first time uh, I do it on this car uh, I'm gonna be checking the filter engine filter and see that it needs to be replaced, <clears throat> replaced. it should be it's, uh, it's about that time uh, getting a little a little too hairy here I'm gonna have to get a haircut soon that's for sure yeah gotta keep the wife happy <laughs> um, but yeah so we're gonna be doing uh, fuel induction service and oil change on the Azera this should be good uh, it's gonna be my first time too so it's gonna be a good learning experience now let's do this all right what up everybody here we are in the shop right now at work try to get this uh, fuel induction and oil change situated I gotta figure out how I'm going to do this because I honestly have no idea. This is gonna be my first time specifically on this car because I've never really worked on Hyundai. So, should be interesting. There's the engine cover on the floor. There's Wyatt. Hey, There's TC, and that's a future video that he's doing over there. All right. Let's do the oil change on the Yazero. We got the filter, it comes already comes with the uh, O-ring and the drain plug gasket. We got our 27 half inch ready, and we got our 17 mil uh, 3 8 ready. We got the oil bug, uh, uh, excuse me. We got our oil bucket ready to drain. Uh, while we were, while we had the car up in the air, we were looking ways to get, um, to get, uh, what, what, what would you call this? I don't know what the, <laughs> what would you call it? Well, the exhaust vacuum, I guess, whatever. Um, to see if we can get it to fit on, on the exhaust because obviously you can tell from the body that that's not going to happen. So from what we were trying to see is that we're probably going to have to remove um, the rubber mount maybe in the, to see if we can get it low enough to put the exhaust vacuum on to the exhaust system to see if we can maybe get a chance to uh, suck out the emissions that it produces from doing the induction service but for now we're just going to do the oil change and uh, we'll worry about that maybe next week or so so yeah this should be fun all right we got the oil draining it's uh six this bad boy takes about six quarts of 5w20 um we got our drain plug here with the used uh you know, gasket, I'm about to replace that real quick. There, we got our uh, drain plug gasket out. We're gonna put in our new one. So, there we go. Like I said, the Hyundai um, oil filter kit comes with an O-ring and a brand new drain plug, so you don't have to buy, a, buy that separately. It already comes with it. Let's put this on. Our oil is already uh, finished training out, so I'm gonna put uh, wait a few more seconds and then we're gonna put in the new uh, drain plug with the new uh, gasket on. 2012's Azeras. The oil filter is located right here next to the air box, which is uh, pretty much underneath the engine cover. The engine cover completely covers it up. So we got our 27 mil socket and our half inch and we're just gonna rotate it to get this thing off as you can see there's the oil filter it's all blacked out i uh i drive a lot especially in this year where i went to uh, i've been going to philadelphia and florida and back on this car which i never thought i'd ever do but uh, hey everything's possible now if you envision your dreams so we're going to replace this filter um and the o-ring all right so now we got the new filter in we got the new o-ring in i gave the o-ring a little bit of the used oil so that it can you know get a little bit lubed up a bit that way it doesn't break when i put it on so here we go Make sure it was 
bolts in properly because it does have a hole exactly where it enters and I don't want it to, you know, get that in there. Yeah, I got it. Could be wrong. But it should be in. So let's for my poor camera skills. Again, I'm working with one hand here. Getting nice and tight. Don't want to over tighten it because the housing may crack. So for now, it's good and tight. I'll definitely be double checking for leaks. You know, the last thing you need is uh, your car leaking oil. So once I check, uh, start it up, I'll be checking for leaks. And we'll be putting in uh, six quarts of um, conventional oil for this. Um, here's the sticker, what they recommend to use, but we're going to, since we're here in my job, we're going to use the, the oil that they have here. So, so here we go, turn this on real quick, make sure, got to make sure it's at zero, otherwise I don't want to overfill, and here we go. So yeah, once this uh, reaches six, uh, six quarts, I'll go uh, put the oil cap on, turn it on for a few seconds, and then double check to make sure that there's no oil leaking from the housing. That's the last thing I need. Uh, unfortunately, due to uh, some circumstances, I will not be able to do the fuel induction service in this video uh, because I gotta figure out exactly what I need to do for my exhaust uh, pipes at the back end. I might have to remove the, N uh, uh, the exhaust mount. That way I can drop it down a little bit and be able to connect the uh, exhaust vacuum so that I can then proceed to see if I can get it to hang on. If not, I might not be able to do it, but I won't. So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, we're at five, four now. We're almost there. And six, two, or six, four, whatever, that's fine. So we got the exact mount needed for the Zara. Now I'm gonna go uh, um, put on the oil cap. Sorry for, for stuttering and all that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put on the oil cap, start it up, and double check for leaks. So now we're gonna be checking for leaks. Gotta make sure that the outside of the housing is not leaking oil. And if it's not, after a few seconds, then that means we did a good job. Nothing is loose. Uh, we should also double check to make sure that the drain plug isn't leaking from the bottom, which I don't think because we do not see anything down there. But yeah, so we did good for now. It does not look like it's leaking, so we're doing a good job. We did a good job today. So yeah, stay in oil on the 2012 Hyundai Azera. Thank you for watching. I just, I just want to share what's up to my friends, and uh, you know, just go orange dim garage, man. You know?